The Wake County Sheriff's deputy charged in a man's violent arrest is closer to getting his day in court. Cameron Broadwell faces an assault charge in connection to Chiron Hinton's arrest last year. CBS 17 Susanna Black was inside the courtroom for the first day of jury selection. Well, 70 people are being questioned by both sides to see if they will be a good fit for this jury. Now, what happened to Chiron Hinton received a lot of publicity, so the judge mentioned that the potential jurors might go through some extra screening to make sure that that publicity won't affect their ability to make an impartial decision in this case. Now, prosecutors say law enforcement beat Hinton and released a canine on him during a 2018 arrest. Broadwell is charged with assault with a deadly weapon and assault in inflicting serious injury. He is currently on administrative leave. Two state troopers, Michael Blake and Tabitha Davis, were also charged in the case. They were both fired. Supporters of Hinton were in the courtroom today and say they are fighting for justice. I would hope that District Attorney Lauren Freeman will do her best not to, in, to ensure that Chiron Hinton is not put on trial, that community activists are not put on trial, and that this trial is contained to the events of that evening. Others are here speaking on behalf of Hinton because he died in February of this year of an apparent drug overdose. It happened just one day after he received an $83,000 settlement from Wake County. For now reporting in Wake County, I'm Susanna Black, CBS 17 News.